All right, good people. Welcome back to part six of Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. I know I saw it very serious on halfway through on part five, and I want to make sure I'm recording. But yeah, I mean, with the context of the bridge thing and the hands up, don't shoot, as you'll see the video when it shower drops. I'm not going to pretty much put Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales like uh, now I'm on part six. Because I already did part three. The first one I did for today was part four, part five. This is now part six. But they're going to be shadow drops. So you don't know when they're coming out. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. I, I think... I don't know how people are going to react with part five. But the game has been out for, well, yeah, since when the PS5 first came out. This is a solid... This is a solid launch title. For what... For how the PS5 was just pushed out to the public, and in terms of launch title have gone, considering for the PS3 and PS4, their launch titles, yeah, PS5 had some successful launch titles. And I can see why people stick with PlayStation 5, because when it first came out, I mean, come on, they had some banger at the banger, as I love to say, but they did. Cinematic, and they did it in a time where we it wasn't overblown with cinematic games. Because PlayStation is, I would say, Gears Horror cinematic games. And it's worked out well for them. And Xbox was successful in the Xbox 360 because it was just focused on, you know what it was focused on? Just video games. Just being a video game. And as a result, Xbox 360 led the charge for that console generation because they were just so focused on being a video game. Being fun. arcade fun. So I, I see where Xbox, because I have my Xbox 360, and I can see where the appeal of why people would immediately latch on to the Xbox 360 back in those days. But I can see why, in terms of, like, consoles, of what's winning, of course it's PlayStation, because the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, they just had, they actually had plethora of games. I think... In 2024, and I think it's a wake-up call, but it's been there. I think they're running out of games. I think PlayStation, because this is just an example of PlayStation. They just had it. They had that. Mm, they had it. They really did. But now PlayStation is just so... They're gearing towards and they're focusing their resources and money to live service games. And I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's good to a like a, a minimal or to a minuscule kind of aspect uh if i was like a, a if i was a businessman i think i would do a bit of both but i don't think i would just kind of put all my money in one basket for live service games because playstation has proven they excel when they expand their horizons and what and not Horizon Zero Dawn. Now it's not trying to make that joke, but no. PlayStation exceeds when they basically have games. That's why the Xbox 360 was great, because they had plenty, massive library of games back in those days. And PlayStation has massive library of games that they have. But I have noticed in 2024 they're really trying to lean heavily on live service games that no one's really asking for. Another hero shooter. We have seen it since 2016 and before that too. But really 2016, we've just been seeing it so much. It's so oversaturated with hero shooters. I don't mind them. But if you don't have other games to latch on to, people will lose interest in live service games. I'm just saying. All right, well... I know that's start with the downer too, but I mean, come on, Sony PlayStation. I know you're, you're. I know you're better than this, because we have seen you better than this. But it kind of sucks that you're just trying to chase a trend and care about money. But I guess, yeah, pretty much money. There we go. All right. I want to talk about the VAs because I think the VAs for Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales are doing a solid job. I think. Give credit where it's due. They're doing a solid job. They're excellent. They are really excellent. I like the I like the VAs, and I especially like the VAs for Marvel Spider-Man PS4. Oh yeah, you're in Lowenthal is a perfect Marvel Spider-Man. Absolutely, and I can see why they keep bringing them back. <laughs> Other projects, they voice Spider-Man. Absolutely, but yeah, yeah. 
If I didn't talk about it in my PS4 review, oh yes, I hope I did acknowledge you in Lumenthal, Lord Bailey, and pretty much the guy who plays Doc Ogg. Oh yeah. Okay, let's talk about who plays Mal Moraz, because I... This is just... This part is just going to be side quests nonstop. And I don't want to go to the main story mission until we pretty much get cover all of Harlem. Gosh, this is such an exciting task. I don't mind that. All right, so the guy who plays... Well, in, in this case, he plays Mal Morales. I know I'm going to butcher it. I know I'm going to butcher it. Uh, okay, I think it's Naji Jitter. Naji Jitter. I, I don't think it's Jitter. I think it's Jitter. I know I probably... I, I know I butcher it. Well, anyway. In terms of stuff he's done, and he was... I guess you could say he was small fry because the movies he did was The Fifth Wave. In 2016, if anybody remembers that. Uh, Television-wise, read, and it, uh, it's spelled R-E-E-D, between the lines, the red line. Uh, he, he was in that M. Sandler movie, Grown Ups 1 and 2. He played the kids. Oh, gosh. Anyway, uh, he was also in Wonder... Wait, Wonder? What the heck is Wonder? Well, anyway. Uh, he was definitely in a Western animation Marvel Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, if anybody remembers that one, it was like a 2017 Disney XD show, I guess. Well, anyway, nobody really remembers it because it looks like it was around three years, so not long. Interesting enough, this guy was actually in... He played Sam from The Last of Us. Oh, gosh. I like Sam, too. So, yeah, he did a solid job for that. Uh, but, yeah, he's been primarily... Be he, because he's so excellent as Mal Morales. He's been in Marvel projects, primarily. And one Naughty Dog game. Yeah? I hope he does well going in the future, because he, he's doing a solid job as Mal Morales. I can't see anyone else playing Miles Morales. I just can't see it. Maybe if it was like a spinoff, like, Marvel project. But no, he's doing a solid job as Mal Morales. Nope. Yeah, I got no complaints. He's doing pretty solid. Now, in terms of the supporting cast, we might as well talk about because they just use the same woman. So that actually has a change. So there's that. All right. So Councilwoman Rio Morales, uh, the one who's playing this. Okay. So it's someone we haven't heard of before. So she's kind of new blood. Uh, Jacqueline uh, Pinot. I, I know I butchered that last name. So I bet if I really look in Google, she's probably been around for a couple of years, but she's kind of new to this. Well, anyway, I think she does a solid job as the mom, too, so there's nothing about that. We already know about Officer Jefferson da Davis, but they haven't shown a flashback about him, but we know who voiced him. Uh, yeah, he was played by Russell Richardson, so he's new guy. I haven't heard him before, too. But yeah, most of the cast that we have seen... Yeah, most of the cast we've seen in Marvel Spider-Man, either we have heard the VA before, like Euron Lowenthal... Or they're definitely new to voice acting, and we never heard them before. So there's always that. Okay, the one who plays Danica Hart is, of course, freaking Ashley Birch. Oh, gosh. Ashley Birch is in everything, isn't she? Well, her best role is Aloy of Horizon Zero Dawn, Fire Space. She was in Final Space. And definitely in Attack on Titan. Man, she, she's been in a lot of things. <laughs> and I mean a lot of things. She's... Yeah, she's freaking great. So, put her in everything. I'm cool she's in this too. But, I'm not going to even go on a long list of Ashley Burr's roles. Her best role is Aloy. Absolutely for Resident Zero, but we're going to end that there. Todd Williams play uh, Rick Mason, or Finn's brother. And, okay, he sounds new. But, yeah, Todd Williams, for the short... Well, I guess for the short time that we got to see him. Yeah, he was cool. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think of anybody else. Who plays Genki? Yeah, I want to know who plays Genki. Does he go by another name? No, I actually have to take a look. Yeah, okay, Genki Lee. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I heard this guy before. Uh, Griffin... Oh, gosh, I don't know how to pronounce this one, too. Uh, Patu. What? This is the... This is technically side quest galore, so... I'll just read the VA because this is a perfect time to do it. And how many minutes have I done? Because 
And this is like me for anime. If there's an anime VA, I if I'm playing an anime game, I like to acknowledge the VA. If I'm playing a game like this, I also like to talk about the VA too. And I'm going to do the same thing for Uncharted because the VAs are taking their time and their absolute time just to give us like solid performances. And they're taking time away from their families and friends too. They probably have normal lives and probably just want to chill out like, like us. So I feel like we should acknowledge them as much as we can. And if we don't, that's okay. But in this case, I don't mind acknowledging the VAs because I like talking about the VAs. I think they do a solid job. Okay, so for Griffin, he's been in a lot of anime. Oh, he was in the Akaduma or, or Akadama Drive. I like that show. That show was solid. Uh, if anyone's seen that one. Uh, he was in Banco Stray Dogs and Fate Green Honor, The God of High School. Yeah, that's kind of that new Shonen series I heard about. I don't know what anybody else thinks about that. Uh, let's see what else he's been in. He's definitely been in the Model Suit Gundam. Monster Girl Doctor, Tokyo Revengers. Definitely been in a lot of, like, newer video games. So he's kind of new blood. Azura Striker Gunvolt 3, I didn't know that. Uh, definitely Fire Emblem. So this guy's been in, actually, just, like, not just anime. Yeah. So he's kind of, like, the kind of VA for anime and video games, too. So he goes a bit, he dabbles in both. And that's completely cool. Oh, he was also in Honk. Oh, Honkai Star Rail. I like Honkai Star Rail. I need to go back to that. And, yeah, he's just been in a lot of work. I like him as Genki, so no complaints there. And in terms of his uncle, let's actually go ahead and take a look at who plays his uncle. Okay, so it's a guy I haven't heard of. His name is Ike. And Ike. And I know I'm going to put your last name. Gosh, my, I got to work on pronunciation. Uh, I'm a die. I know I butchered that. So anyway, looks like he portrays the titular character of Knack. Oh, okay. He plays Knack from that, that launch title from PS4. That's interesting. Uh, okay. He plays Jack Spriggs uh, for Mortal Comeback. Oh, man. Okay. He also plays Martian Manhunter from Tomorrowverse. That's interesting. He was definitely in a love diff. Robots episode. Interesting. Uh, okay, he's been in other ones. So, Legend of Vox Machina. I like that show. I gotta get back to that. Something about close enough. Wait, that show that was on and then got cancelled by Max? That show looked actually pretty good. Then they removed it. Uh, he was in... Oh, he played an actual character from Mass Effect 3, Quantum of Solace, Halo 5, Guardians, because he played Jonas and Locke. Now, well, that's interesting. Definitely in Final Fantasy 15 and Final F uh, in Fallout 4. And obviously, of course, Spider-Man... Well, he was in Spider-Man PS4 version. That's interesting. So yeah, the guy's been in a lot of work too. And I don't even need to talk about Simon Krieger because he's played by voice freaking Troy Baker. Freaking Troy Baker. The then I need to go on. Alright, and of course he plays Finn Mason and the Tankerer. I mean... Spoiler alerts. I mean, it's not really a spoiler. It's pretty obvious. The way that Finn was acting, there were so many obvious signs. How many minutes have we done now? Okay, 13 minutes, but that's okay. Uh, so her, she's played by Jasmine Savoy Brown. I never heard of her. She must be definitely new blood. And 1994, she was born. So yeah, she's definitely new blood. Okay, so you guys might know her. Okay, so she was known for... Oh, okay, she was in The Leftovers. Me and my wife watch The Leftovers. We love that show. That show was great. That show was excellent. Uh, Yellow Jackets. Heard of it, never seen it, but I can actually watch it if I needed to. Screen 2002, so... Wait, like the... Oh, uh, okay, a 2022 reboot of the Scream film series, okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, what else about her, too? Okay. Yeah, she's been uh, actually a lot of work. She's been around for a little while. She was also in Brooklyn Nine-Nine in one episode. Besides The Leftovers, what was she in The Leftovers, then? I'm curious myself. But apparently, she was definitely a big... 
she's an important role in Yellow Jackets that's still going on. And she was in Final Space. That's interesting. Okay, so she played Evelyn Murphy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why does that sound familiar? That sounds familiar. From The Leftovers. That sounds way too familiar. Oh, and she was also in Wolfenstein Youngblood. Well, okay, so she has a lot of work that she's done. She, So she's been in, in a lot of roles. That's interesting. Yeah, she's been in a lot of roles. No complaints. Huh, okay. But yeah, that's the VAs I've noticed so far. And, okay, now let's get back to side questing. Okay, so after this... We're going to go ahead and stream another game, and I don't know which one I'm going to stream after this. I might go of one of those four that are leaving PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. I want to come back to Miles Morales, absolutely. But if I don't come back to it right away, I can always save it for like another day. Like, let's just say Sunday. I can't say Saturday, because that's usually off limits, but you never know. Okay, underground cash, here we go. Yeah, it's definitely keeping me busy. But it's not going to keep me, like, super busy. I'm already used to, like, exploring New York because of PS4 Spider-Man. So, hey, I'm used to it. I can now... And plus, I can always fast travel... Wait. What the freaking fault? Wait. Once I think about it, in the OG vanilla Spider-Man PS4 one, I had to earn the trains, and I had to pretty much clear everything out to get the fast travel. But this one, the fast travel is already me because of his uncle. He gets unlimited. He gets unlimited day pass. Lucky, lucky son of a god. Gosh, trains were expensive in New York, and he gets it for free because he has connection. Oh, you lucky dog. Ah, oh, kind of appreciate that, but ah. Oh. Anyway. All right, well, sorry if that VA thing took a while, but I had to do that. Friends, today I'm going to have to make the decision. Now, because of Jared, he's actually doing a fine job. No, I'm disappointed that once again, some of you have allowed yourselves to be convinced that it's okay for a complete stranger with zero legal authority to parade around in a Halloween costume pretending to be... Some kind of safe. And once again, that misplaced faith has resulted in an unimaginable disaster. The truth is, it doesn't matter if you think Spider Man is good. It doesn't even matter if he thinks he's good. What matters is that every time something gets destroyed in this city, he's there. Or now, his protege is. Ask yourselves with all these crises we faced, can we really afford to deal with twice as many? And where will it all end? Spider Woman? Spider Punk? Spider Pig? Oh. While I vomit at that thought, enjoy these important messages from our fine sponsors. Oh. Did he just make a callback to. or. Uh, he made a callback to. into the Spider Verse. Broach is dead. Spider Pig, Spider Punk, which happened. Oh gosh. And. wait. Was that before Across the Spider-Verse? We do have a Spider-Punk! Hobby! Or... What is that? Hobby or Hobble? He's played by Daniel Kalula. And he was freaking awesome in that, too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's I think about it? This was made before Across the Spider-Verse! Dude! I love that! The callback! I wonder if anybody realized that. They're like... Oh my gosh, he already predicted it before the movie came out! Probably! The underground took over that bill. Finding the signal. Alright. Now to track them down. Hey, I don't mind doing this. Logo on a billboard is definitely a power move. Yep, it is. And here's the underground. So, Hi guys! How big is the underground's marketing budget? <laughs> I mean, I could have did the stealth takedown, but nah, I prefer the whole punching and grabbing and stuff. Dude, 
that's so sick! Did I not even get hit? Bro, I don't think I even got hit. Yep, I don't think I got hit, and that was freaking awesome. Signal's clear. I should ask Genki about building some sort of underground ad blocker. True. Yeah, when you really think about it... What am I trying to say? Ah, well, I forgot my thought. Anyway! Yeah, story missions will wait after the side missions. I mean, come on, it's still a video game, so of course... And in some of your games, you know... Hold on. Feel like the underground's hiding something here. You know, I could go stealth. Makes it so much easier. Peekaboo, I see you. Another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hey! Da, 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 da. Another one bites the dust. Go in stealth. Shot. Oh my gosh, he went over the building. That sucks. How the heck do you miss? Well, looks like I broke your toy. Bye! Are you sure about that? Need to work on your aim. Yeah, they're definitely dead. Huh? Huh? Hold on. Hmm. Thought I noticed something. Ah! There it is. Definitely use this. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm pretty much video games. Yeah, absolutely. We do collectibles. That's part of it being a video game. Time to go! Hey, my buds, dudes, gal pals. As if New York wasn't exciting enough during the holidays, there is now a tropical storm slash hurricane creeping its way up the coast. Oh yeah, just like that movie where the boat gets flipped over by a big wave, you know? Oh, sorry, spoilers. Anyway, if this storm hits, a lot of people are going to be now's a great time to donate to your local shelter. Till next time, remember to check your credit score annually. You get one free report per year, so be responsible. Goodbye. I think I was swinging and texting. Or technically listening to her podcast and texting. Ooh, that sick. Yes, it's the same kind of moves he's doing. Yep, hold on. I got you, bro. Yeah, convenient. Oh, this will keep me busy. Where are they? Looks like those guys are busting the door down. Yes, they are. Shut that down! It's just a break in! Don't you have better things to do? Besides. Yeah, clearly. Stay out of my Say out your what? You didn't finish. That'll teach you not to do that. 
Thanks again. You really need to work on your banter. That's where Peter's being you. He has good one-liners. They're corny, but he has good one-liners. <sighs> so great we're gonna get to play as two of them. I know I'm late to the party, but guys, I don't follow the trend. You know what I do? I just stream. I play game at my own pace. He has his own style, and I'd love that. Let's see. Looks like it's all the way down there. Okay, probably up there. Well, over there. Never mind. Clever. This could be useful. Yes, it will. Awesome sauce. I think we almost got everything covered here. Just this time capsule. Oh, okay. It looks like uh, activities over here too. I got the spiring train done. Did we do all the spiring train? I guess we did. I've been busy. Yes, I have. Looks like some spider training made something that's locked. Well, that's why I'm doing all these kind of like side missions because, you know, why not? And also, whenever, before I even start story mission, I have noticed that. Make sure I'm also recording. But yeah, every time I do site missions, or every time I do single player stuff like this, I always like to do the site missions first before proceeding to the story mission. So I can be solely focused on the story mission if it's a solid one. And I used to do that with Mass Effect and the A single player narratives. Because once you do all the side quests, you are invested. You are invested. And everyone's completely cool with that. But yeah, you, you definitely want to have all the side quests done so you can just focus on this, well, I guess the narrative, like, like solely focus on that. Because it just adds like you just complete it and you just feel so invested in the world and it feels like you made a major accomplishment, especially if the side quests were exciting, engaging, immersive, then you really feel like you are a big part and you contribute a big part of the world by completing every side quest even if it seems needless and just boring or just not really you get the idea if you're a gamer or if you play games like this oh yeah you know what i mean you have a jump it's hard to believe that insomnia game makes this but after ratchet and clank i, I mean is it really that unheard of it's amazing Another crime in progress. Typical New York. No, I'm kidding. That is so sick every time with the Venom jump. Don't think those guns are for paintball. Spider-Man! Take an aim! Ready, aim, fire! Ready, aim, fire! Bye! Bro, did you just shoot me? Really? Are you driving away? Are you actually driving away? Are you freaking driving away? Get back here! No, we can't. Yeah, my turn too. This is what you get for driving in high speed chase. Get over here.
<sighs> and that's one more arm still stopped in progress. Good work, me. Yeah, pat on the back. Let's get out of here. I was like, guys, I'm spider. Not looking for another vigilante lecture. Yeah, pretty much uh, part five, much. Also, perfect landing. No one could uh, deny that. All right. Oh. What the? Did I just get hit by a train? I have the honor of welcoming Roxxon Energy's head of R&D, Simon Krieger. Mr. Krieger. You've been out promoting the benefits of your new form reactors, the first of which is set to open in Harlem soon. Yet, you've had some critics. Hmm. Well, first off, Jonah, uh, let me say what an honor and a pleasure it is to be on your show. Oh, well, I'm blushing. And, yeah, you're right, we've had some resistance. Most notably from Rio Morales, who, uh... Looks to be a new city council member in the upcoming special election. And I have a, I have a lot of respect for Ms. Morales. Oh, no, you know. Uh, she's smart. She's a great role model for young women. But I think she's putting her energy in the wrong place. Our new form reactors will make this a better city, a better home for New Yorkers. But I, I, I guess some people just have a hard time with change. Let me give you some advice. One highly successful man to another. You know what I like to say to my critics? <laughs> you and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I, uh, I admire your conviction. You're uh, you're a man who's not afraid to pay a fine in order to make uh, your point. Fine? What do you mean, Jared? How much? <laughs> do you <laughs> think it? Quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed that laugh after the last part. Oh! How did Troy Baker and the guy who plays, um, who plays J.J. Jones said, how did they say th their lines with the straight face? You know they, but you know they burst out laughing. All right, that was funny. That was funny. That was worth the price for admission. All right. Well, anyway, I know, and it's the cry, but right. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird and kind of cool. Oh my gosh, you guys are such the. You guys are brilliant geniuses. That is so cool. That that is like dope. I will respect that. I'm sorry. These kids just made like scientific. They made like very elaborate and amazing. Yes, that was intentional. Amazing scientific discoveries. Are are we sure they're not like mini Albert Einstein's? I mean. Come on! <laughs> oh man! JJ Joma said, "Never change." Well, that's why you play by J. No one, no one can play JJ Jovison or JJ J Jonah Jemison in live action. No one can play him besides J.K. Simmons. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Okay, uh, hold on. Wow, there's a bunch of side quests this time. Uh, there's definitely a lot of crime. Hmm. Don't say anything, don't say anything. Don't make any New York jokes. Can't do that. Nope, can't do that. Stop that. Stop that. A lost cat. A lost cat is part of a side quest. That is, that is, um, I guess the friendly neighborhood's Spider-Man's forte. Lost cats. Well, that's a thing. Anyway. All right. Let's see. We already get that. Uh, I think it has to show up on the map first before we can even touch that. Did I miss it? I'm looking. Okay. That's just a stealth challenge. Oh, solid step. Okay. That actually might be something I might work do. 
Okay, app activities. Probably need to get closer to that area. It's like the hip hop soundtrack with the orchestra. That's that's dip. Not dip. That's dope. Can't find the pigeons. Something's nearby. I'm trying to see. I think it's something with the meters. Well, anyway. Yeah, it's fully explore here. So. Okay, we got the comeback challenge done. That is still dope. Yeah, I'm really digging this. Yep, looks like I'm going that way. Gosh, crime is persistent. Making a weapons deal out in the open like that? Yeah. Looks like I'm getting through it. Are you sure about that? I have a sixth sense about that. Keeping the neighborhood safe from rock song weapons. Spider-Man style. Spider-Man style, all right. All right, all right, all right. Too easy. I obviously have a lot of energy. Not as much. No, I do. I absolutely do. When I get some sleep, I have doubtless of energy. Oh, yeah! Do something really cool for this. Wait, how many years has it been for Miles doing all this? Oh, I think I got it. You did it. Seriously, hip hop orchestra is freaking freaking cool. Yeah. All right, what we got. Seems like crime again. Oh, no. See it to my face. Are you sure about that? Are you? Get my way. Looks like I'm about to give you the Maisie Spider-Man treatment. I think his spider's broke. Yeah, tell that to your friend. Hmm. Yes, I do. Except for without the tragedy. Thank you, Baymax. Man, I just thought of some quips I could have used. Next time. Yeah, waste it, waste it, bro. Hey, do I get a high five? Thank God you got here, Spider-Man. Glad you're okay. Yep, saving one district at a time. And spot a many. Because I... Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Thank you, Toby. Anyway. Where's Sweetie? Oh, and an epic fail. Real Morales for city council 
Council in the special election. So today yeah. I'm interviewing her. For real. Oh, Thank wow. you for being on, Miss Morales. Thank you for inviting me. I absolutely love your show. Oh, thanks. So you're running against the incumbent in your district. How do you think you can do better? Unlike my opponent, I live in the district. And I listen to the people who call it home. I want Harlem to be as vibrant and safe as it was while I was growing up here. Roxanne Plaza was built on the current leadership's watch. That alone should make anyone think twice about voting for him. We agree on that. Switching gears a bit, you're a full-time science teacher. What made you want to jump into politics? It's really about loving my home and wanting to fight for it. During Martin Lee's attack on City Hall, my husband gave his life to protect others. I want to honor his memory by fighting for my neighbors and friends the best way I know how. Good luck in the polls, and thank you for being on the show. Dana fans, you can join an AMA with Candidate Morales on my blog for the next hour. Until next time, remember to set one minute per hour aside for deep, meditative breathing. Helps you clear your head. Okay, bye! Only Ashley Birch can deliver that live with... Ashley Birch... How much did they pay her to star in this? I mean, they must have known, like... She's our girl! It's something that gives us like, they must have seen, they must have seen Horizon Zero Dawn like, oh yeah, she's in. She, yeah, pay her everything. Pay her everything! That was probably money well spent. What's the underground got going on here? Well, before we do that, let's stop crime. Is that fun? Gosh, these graphics are fantastic. Amazing. Still food! So guys! Wow, that's some strong armor. Yeah. That's what you get for the bridge. No, you're not! You're mine! Bye! Corporate kidnapping squad down! He doesn't have quips. Kinda sucks. But it's okay. You're not Peter. Just say. It is his time, though. It's my time, time, time. That montage was pretty sick, though. Probably earned a new suit. After the bridge thing, yeah. Are they trading? Well, how about that? Let's see if I can stealth these guys, for once. Hmm. Let's see if I can... Oh my gosh, that's so... That's... Someone's trying to steal from a feast truck. Not now, I'm already in a mission, bro. Hold on. Let's see if I can stealth her. Can I approach it? Are you sure about that? Hey Evan, you still on patrol? Something's not right. Someone check on Evan. Yeah, someone should probably check on you too. Where are you guys going? Yes, I can, bro. Oh, yeah, crime is still in progress. Bye! It's the last one. 
I wasn't even out to stealthy in that one. Pretty sad for you guys. Where are you, underground thing? Ah, there you are. And then I gotta stop crime. Hi, honey. What are you up to? Oh, just, you know, went on a run. Again? Miles, you're working so hard lately. You need to carve out time to relax. I am. I've been hanging with Genki, sampling music. Working out all the time. Disappearing for hours to study. I'll stop telling you what to do. But I worry about you, mijo. If I'm feeling burnt out, I'll come talk to you about it, okay? I'll hold you to that. I love you. Bye. Adios, ma. Te quiero. Oh! I still find that wholesome. Oh, crap. You got that. Hi, guys. Taking you down. You must get a lot of workout. Ah, puberty, she's probably thinking. Well, I'm gonna swing you away! Swing, bada bada! Am I? I'm just gonna stick around. <laughs> Stop hitting my chest on these. And I better not see you trying to break in again. Man, you really need to get some quips. Yeah, that sounded good. No, no, I did, bro. But I allow it because you're freaking awesome. Let's face it, the bridge thing was a moment of awesome. It's not gonna probably be his last. Oh no, absolutely not. He, he's gonna get some pretty dope stuff. Can I upgrade? Sweetness. Oh yeah! Oh no, I read that. I definitely read that. Web bomb. Basically, webbing a venom stun enemy, which I do all the time. Ooh, that's safe, Pete. That's one of the highlights of Miles Morales. The whole abilities, kind of just doing stuff like this, and just getting cool new abilities. Miles Smash. Okay, yep, yeah, unlocking it. That sounds cool. That sounds absolutely cool. Yep. Yeah. How do I do it? How do I freaking do it? I want to do it. When you really think about it though, like, when you think about it, it is essentially the same Marvel Spider-Man PS4. It is, but they just added some tweaks that are just really cool. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, this makes it very much easier. And now, if I ever come back to, whenever, when I come back to Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, when I come back to it, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm going to do the wall take down. Wait, I don't have that ability. That's a Miles Morales. I'm like, all right, I'll do the Venom Punch. Wait, that's Miles Morales too. Wait, I'll just have Spider-Cat. Wait, that's Miles Morales. I bet you guys, whoever play... Marvel's Spider-Man PS4, everyone probably thought like, oh wait, that's the ability you can do in Marvel. Hey, not cool. Yeah, I bet you can't. Oh no, oh my gosh. How oh, you miss? How the heck do you miss? That's where the bridge again! Hmm? 
Are they gone? Is that all of them? Wow, you had you sh aim like a stormtrooper. And there you go. Bye. Corporate kidnapping squad dead. Yeah, he's he's he he's dead. He's very dead. He's electric. He's squashed like a ant. I think he's sticking to the wall. Hold the freaking phone. Oh my gosh, is he sticking to the wall? Yep, he is! It's kind of funny. <laughs> I, I find that amusing. <sighs> Don't need something that games never change. What can they do with the third one? I mean, you got to play as Miles and Peter in the second one. But what other things can they do? I mean, Venom's in it too. That's a that was a good that was a solid move. That was a solid good move. But what else can they do with this? I'm trying to think of myself. Hey, Glaren, what's up? Hey, how's your jump shot these days? Last time we played pickup Brick City. You been working on it? Uh, I play at school, but I gotta be careful with the whole spider thing. Man, I bet you already forgot what I taught you. Feet set, balance, rise up and follow through. And did you forget I got all these powers now? I could definitely beat you in a pickup. Oh, you want to test that? Bring it on, old man. <laughs> Hope you got the skills to back that up. Next time you're free, taking you down. I mean, he could... Hey, uh, Aaron, he could definitely beat you and so school you. From the underground, just for me. Now that he's part of it, he, he literally can beat you. But he, he can school you because he's Spider-Man. Man, a lot of people call him. I kind of appreciate that. It, compared to Peter, wow. Yeah, what do you think about it? Miles has a lot of people in his life. We really think about it. Well, besides Finn. But before, you know, bad guy alert. Yeah, he really does have a, a like a large safety net. He has Genki, his mom. He had his dad before he died. He had Uncle Aaron before he becomes Uncle Prowler. Who else does he have? He had Finn before she became a bad guy. Yeah. He obviously is going to get the deaf girl named Haley. So, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, he has it solid safety net he has actual friends and family but peter his parents died yeah i think in the comic books his parents died from a plane accident if i remember right or they they did die before his birth his uncle ben got shot his aunt may died from a coronavirus dragon's breath peter only has mary jane and mary jane could easily die because she has almost died so my gosh, Peter's life is miserable. And plus, if they retcon everything, I mean, they could always introduce Paul. Oh, shoot. I hope they don't. No, Peter needs to win. He needs a happy ending. Yeah, Peter needs it. Absolutely. After Bro has lost everything when you really think about it. If you have to say who's who's it's really lost. It's all summer skating here. You should come back more often. Bingo. After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. She wanted to reinvent the whole world. Uh, well, I mean, she kind of is in a sense. So. Okay, so obviously Simon had definitely a big part of I mean, it's it's not like spoiler alerts. I mean, come on, let's let's face it. It's one of those like, hey, yeah, Simon had a big part in um, Rick and Rick's death. Obviously, he did. I imagine they're going to show this in a flashback or some video recording because when you think about it, Finn is very well. Yeah, Finn is absolutely similar to Martin Lee because Martin Lee's parents got. Experimented and totally died from nor 
because of Norman Osborn. And because of that, yeah, yeah, Martin Lee was pretty much helping on trying to kill, well, freaking Norman Osborn. And yeah, totally. And we understand where he's coming from. Because, you know, Norman Osborn, he said, well, he's a massive dick. Anyway, well, he's a corporate massive dick, but same freaking thing. Can we honestly say that Troy Baker plays a... He plays a corporate douchebag way too well? Sorry, right, Troy Baker, you can do everything, can't you? You can't even play the freaking Joker. Okay, it must be down there. It's five minutes. I don't know. Ah, there we go. I know... Parts. Yeah, I know this is like, this is something that I probably didn't need to show, but yeah, screw that. I'm, I'm going to show this. Why, why would I not show this? I mean, come on. This not only adds to the time, this is stuff I love doing. Kind of like just being thorough and all this. Apps of freaking lootly. You're, you're kidding. If I, you think I'm not going to do this. And yes, I'm going to show the repetitive, y you might think it's repetitive, just kind of like doing the same moves. Pretty much beating the crap out of enemies with the same move. Yeah. Hmm. I thought I heard somebody was saying help. Oops. Come on. The bow capsule used to be a dump, but I'm glad they cleaned it up a little. Yeah. Hey, we got a trophy for being on the boat. After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. Well, that has to change as being the tinkerer and all that. It's kind of sad because she had a brilliant scientific mind, but because of her brother's death, she's... She's now on the road of revenge. Ah, it's kind of sad. She she must have been a really sweet kid. And now she's just trying to avenge her brother. And I don't think her brother would want this. But still, that's absolutely, that's absolutely sad. You know? Anyway. Underground cash. Am I missing something? Is it part of that? Okay, well, it's part of Chinatown. This opportunity that me and my wife could have did. It's not that we could have did it, it's just that we ran out of time. We were busy, but we did a lot in New York, that's a fact. I'm trying to cover everything I can. I don't want to do the story mission, just because I really want to be thorough in this one. And I really want to be thorough in this one, yes. Alright. So, we're going to definitely come back to this one, but for now, we're going to stay right here. And yeah, guys, we are definitely coming back to Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, absolutely. But for now, we're going to stop it here, so we're going to just manually save, of course. But yeah, I'm going to probably stream the other games that I wanted to do, just because I actually have time. Uh, I might do like two or three videos. It just depends on how much fun I'm having on those. But once I'm done with that, then we'll come back to Marvel, Spider-Man, and Miles Morales. If not, then that's completely okay. All right. Well, let's move hey, to the next step. You know there's a weapons deal going down near you? My gosh, dude, you are just persistent. Hey, Genki. I, uh, I gotta confess something. You were bitten by a spider and now you have powers? No. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But, okay. While you were sleeping in, I kind of played Speed Nonagon. The build I sent you last spring, or...? The one on your laptop. Dude, that one's not done! It, it, it's a total mess! I thought it was cool! I love the part with the expanding dodecahedrons. You made it to third level? Yeah. Why? Did I beat your high score? No, it's...